snow here, man. Boy, this thing was on a rail. Was you ever in doubt any time in that race? I know you hate to see that caution come out, didn't I? Uh, the hardest I had to work was when Tommy was on the outside of me on that restart, and he almost got me cleared, and we were side by side for about six or seven laps. He had a really strong car and was able to hold on the outside a lot better than I thought he would be able to because uh, I'd gotten by everybody else so easily. Um, but hey, we managed to, once the heat got back in the tires, we managed to get back around him and get out front, and then the car went back to running like it was before and pulled out a win. Yeah, and you've, you've had some good cars there before. This is this has got to be the top five, one of the best cars you've had down here. Yes, definitely. You know, to actually, the last, the only win I had last year was when I had something break in the first race, and then I started dead last, come all the way through the field and won. But to start on the pole, lead every lap, or most every lap, and to get a win, that's that's what it's all about right there. Here with Tommy Lemons and his hair. Um, <laughs> good, good second place row. I know you was trying all you could. What could you done different to catch up zero? Um, nothing really. You know, uh, his car was pretty good, and uh, you know, he just hooked up right there. We were off just a little bit. And, uh, you know, we'll tweak on it and see if we can't run with him in the second race. Yeah, and how, how hard were you running there before the before the last call to catch up with him? Um, I really just kind of backed off after he got out a few car lengths. I knew I wasn't going to catch him, so I wasn't going to burn burning my stuff up. Um, I had a pretty decent cushion on beat, so I felt like I needed to save as much as possible. So do you think you just want adjustment away for this second race? I hope so. <laughs> Lee Pulliam here, huh? Had a great car today. You know, running up here. Well, first of all, it looked like it, it, it took a long time for that thing to get going. Once it went, though, it was going. Yeah, I think we had a pretty good hot rod. Just uh, shame people's brakes keep failing, you know. I don't know. I need to. Hell, I'll go buy him some if he needs some money. I don't know what it is, but uh, keeps running out of brakes on him. Yeah, down there in turn two, is that what he did? Just hook you, just. I guess he ran out of brakes again. Deep Casper here, good third place run. Had a good car, like it just f faded there at the end. What, what could you have done different there? I just honestly thought they were running too hard, and I tried to save it. And, um, just trying to save as much as I could, and just, that's all we had there at the end, you know. Um, just uh, having a hard time hooking this thing up off the corner, man. We've had this problem ever since we uh, put this uh, fourth grade in, so we just got to work on that. But I'm just, I'm sick, man. I didn't mean to do that to Lee. I know we got our problems. He don't like me. He probably will never will like me. And, um, <laughs> I just, I don't drive like that. Suck. It sucks. <laughs> I know y'all had a little contact before and like he got into you a little bit. Yeah, and then, I mean, then, but then what happened off turn two that last time? Yeah, I just went in there too hard and got into it. It's sure. all my fault. This ain't fun. Yeah, that's a good one. Right around here, your first late model race here, 2014, man, did a heck of a job. Tell me about that. Come on third. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, just the, <laughs> the car was really great. It was uh, well, my first race. I can't say it's the best car I've had. It was the best car I've had. I hope I have many more cars this good because I know we'll get a lot better finishes than this. Um, I know I'm, I'm getting some great experience running with all these great drivers. Um, had a lot of passing, had a lot of side-by-side -side experience today. So, um, so definitely, definitely something to work on. Yeah, and I seen you. You was in some, you know, some easy situations, some tough situations out there. You had a little bit of everything today. Right. Uh, I missed a couple shifts. I feel like I could have been a little farther up if I wouldn't have missed those. Um, just a rookie mistake. I'll build on it and I'll uh, get ready for next week at Hickory. Okay, and I ask every driver who starts out because driving for Jamie Yelton. How, how, how's that working out for you? Uh, he's crazy, but. Uh, <laughs> He's really good. He's uh, he's the best, I think. Uh, my car was by far the best at the end. We had saved our tires perfectly. Maybe if we would have gone just a little sooner, we would have been up there where Pulliam is. But, I mean, I can't complain. Here we go. Mr. Yep. Second place. You, you don't like that at all, do you? No, I ain't. Uh, <laughs> Tell got, me about that second race there, got man. Got my hat on this time. That makes it look Yeah, you got a hat. It does look better. Uh, just missed it a little bit. You know, we had a really good car. And uh, it kind of sucks to come up short. But, uh just tough here, you know. You got the national champ sitting in victory lane in this race, and uh, you know, that's why he's there because he's pretty good. But, uh, you know, we're not going to give up. We're going to come back battling hard the 29th and uh, see if we can't get two victories that night. It looked like on the second race it took a little while for your car to come in. Yeah, it really did. Uh, I asked him to snug it up a little bit between races and probably shouldn't have. But uh, you know, either way, I don't know if we'd have had enough. But, uh, yeah, we'll work on it and come back. Here Lee Pulliam, second 75 lap right here to start the year off. Uh, been an eventful day, man. Tell me about that second race. Yeah, yeah. I 
kind of pissed me off a little bit the first <laughs> race there and uh, just had to get up on the wheel and the guys did a phenomenal job fixing the car. It ripped the whole right side off when, uh, when D wrecked us and, and Michael got didn't have nowhere to go and uh, you know they, they did a heck of a job fixing it. Uh, the toe was off and uh, we got that fixed and just had a fire in me man and I was, I was going to try to get it to the front any way possible and uh, man what a got to thank the Lord because uh, I tell you, it was uh, several several situations I thought we got into that we weren't going to get out, and uh, we were able to pull through there. Yeah, and you come back up, you had to start, you know, pretty much almost shotgun on the field back there. And following out the first race, you got back there deep, there was some more action there. Yeah, you know, uh, he, he left the door open coming out of two, so I took it, and, uh, and we were three wide, and uh, I was in the middle, and the guy on the bottom, uh, I guess he didn't realize his father didn't tell him, but uh, he pushed me up in the deke, and uh, I was going to pass deke clean again, but, uh, you know, uh, keep kidding with the brakes, and uh, he don't give me any.